that has been a pleasure for me to participate in the Hawking Radiation Conference and spend a week of intensive discussions with all friends and colleagues on fundamental problems in reactor physics. It is many years since we experienced similar excitement on this topic, and the 40 years since Hawking radiation was discovered. As is often the case, a breakthrough in an important field creates a set of new and more difficult puzzles. In this case, the discovery of Hawking radiation led to the mystery of the information loss paradox. Soon after I discovered that black holes evaporate, I realized, since we cannot measure the quantum state of what fell into a black hole, then we could not recover this information when the black hole had completely evaporated. I raised this concern in my paper Breakdown of Predictability and Gravitational Collapse in 1976. There has been a whole body of literature dedicated to the information lost paradox ever since. Various attempts to solve the problem have been tried and had, so far, failed. The problem was recently referenced in the more dramatic description of firewalls placing around a black hole. In January 2014, I suggested that black holes may not exist at all. Such a possibility requires a precise understanding of the origin of Hawking radiation and implies that singularities do not exist. The singularity theorem can be evaded by quantum effects. We heard three talks on Monday by Food, Marcini, Odin, and Bertie, exploring such a possibility through that region. The overlap approach in the three proposals remains to be further explored.